Hi there. I was once on a men's retreat and one of the activities we did was chopping wood. And that really sounds like a bridge, yeah, men around the campfire chopping wood. Um, there was a lot of burly men there. Um, but it's actually the metaphor about creating what we want. It's a metaphor of many things because chopping really big logs with a really big axe and a lot of us haven't done that kind of chopping of wood before. There's a lot of metaphors in there, but the main metaphor it was being used for was about really getting clear about what we want to create, what we want in any particular situation. Because when you're chopping wood, you're chopping a big log. Often people aim for the top of the log and they actually really need to aim for the bottom of the log. And so in life, we think we know what we want, that's the top of the log. So for me, for a long time, what I wanted was more money. I wanted to create more money. I was scared of not having enough money. And that's the top of the log. But what's the bottom of the log? What is it I really wanted beyond that? Well, I wanted to feel safe. I wanted to feel secure. I wanted to feel free in life, which is not actually about money. Some people want to create the new job or the promotion or have the baby. That's the top of the log. What is it they think they're going to get when they get those things? What is it they're seeking beyond that? What does those things give them? That's the bottom of the log, which may be purpose, freedom, satisfaction, all sorts of, all sorts of experiences they think they're going to get through those um, situations. So I encourage you to think about something you want and work out, okay, what's the bottom of the log? What is it that thing is going to give you? And it's normally experience, it's a feeling, it's a sensation, maybe freedom, happiness, purpose. That's what you're really seeking through that physical thing, the promotion of the baby or the money. And when we realize what it is we really want, that's what we can start creating in our life today, even ahead of creating the situation or creating the circumstance or achieving those things you thought you wanted. A feeling of satisfaction, a feeling of freedom, a feeling of purpose. Any feeling doesn't come from our situation. We never one thought away from feeling those feelings today in this moment. It's only our thinking stopping us feeling those things. And there's a phrase that form follows feelings. So the more you come from that space, you're more likely to create the form, create the physical results of that, achieve the things you want to achieve in this physical world. Those things are a place to come from. It's not a place to get to. We think, I'll be happy when, or I'll be more secure when. Now, the more you feel happy and more secure now in yourself and reconnect your true self, the more you come from that place, it's far more easy to create those things you think you need to get there. There's nothing wrong with creating those things. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have more money or have a baby, have the career. There's nothing wrong with wanting those things. So I realize we don't need it to create that experience. That experience comes from within us. We we're born with it. We were born complete, we were born free, we were born satisfied, psychologically. It just we have some thinking that tells us we're not. We think we're not. So whatever you want to create, that's the top of the log. What is it you really want to create? What's the bottom of the log? And that's the place to come from today. It's only thinking is stopping you being there today in this moment. You only have one thought away from being in an experience. And the more you connect to that place, the more you want to create the things you want in this world with so much more ease and well-being. So aim for the bottom of the log, not the top.